In December of 2013, while playing in a forest that housed bats that carried Ebola, a toddler was infected by the Ebola virus in a small town in Guinea. By March 2014, Ebola had crossed from Guinea into Sierra Leone. In August, the United Nations Health Agency declared an international public health emergency, saying that a coordinated response was essential to halt the spread of the virus. When Nigeria's first Ebola case was confirmed in Lagos on July 23rd, the news rocked public health communities around the world, as control of the virus would be challenging in such a vast and densely populated territory. How can contact tracing be done under such conditions? This was the primary question raised shortly after the first confirmed case. With assistance from the WHO, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and others, Nigerian government officials reached 100% of known contacts in Lagos and 99.8% at the second outbreak site in Port Harcourt. Although several nations in West Africa have been impacted by Ebola, Nigeria has been lauded as a spectacular success story. Experts indicate that information sharing, resource mobilization, accountability, and having relevant stakeholders in one place streamline the decision-making process to produce a rapid and effective coordinated response. In essence, the response in Nigeria focused on coordination, learning, and adaptation, key knowledge management approaches. While U.S. government agencies were proactively engaged in the international response, including Nigeria, the government has been widely criticized on the domestic front. By October of 2014, America's panic about Ebola and criticism over the government's response was reaching new heights. On October 15th, a second American nurse was diagnosed with Ebola after caring for Thomas Eric Duncan, and lawmakers demanded that Obama designate a leader to oversee the response. Obama created a new position nicknamed the Ebola Czar, and Ron Klain was appointed in October of 2014. His job, to coordinate the response among the federal agencies working against the outbreak. Ron Klain's appointment ended yesterday, March 1st. The question still remains, how successful was he in coordinating the Ebola response? Less than a month ago, President Mahama of Ghana suggested that strengthening partner coordination from both a technical and financial perspective would be the most effective way of fighting Ebola, and the UN mission chief for the Ebola emergency response lamented that a problem of coordination was the largest obstacle in ending the emergency. Currently, more than 8,700 people have died from the disease in six countries, including Liberia, Guinea, Sierra Leone, Nigeria, the U.S., and Mali, and the total number of reported cases exceeds 21,000.